Richard was driving his Tesla Model S in Atlanta, Georgia. Autopilot was engaged and maneuvered the car into the right lane to take an exit. As he passed a semi truck, a car two lanes over started changing lanes to take the same exit. This resulted in the car nearly sideswiping Richard's Tesla. Autopilot tried to make enough room to avoid an accident, but the other driver overcorrected and lost control. They ended up performing a pit maneuver on the Tesla as they both drove down the highway. Richard's Model S spun around over all the lanes. Luckily, it wasn't hit by any other cars or trucks. No airbags were deployed, and even without the rear left tire touching the road, Richard was able to regain control and maneuver to safety. Even though the state of Georgia requires drivers to carry insurance, the other driver was uninsured. Instead, Richard's long process of sorting out a claim with his own insurance provider has begun. Andreas was driving his Model 3 in Modena, Italy, home of the Ferrari, on a little sightseeing tour. Something that wasn't so little was the semi-truck on his right, which experienced a massive tire explosion. This sent the truck crashing across two lanes, but luckily, Andreas was able to stop in time, and none of the debris did any damage to his Tesla. Okay, back to the United States. They say everything is bigger in the US, right? Anyway, the same goes for the tire explosions. A loose tire from a truck carrying an oversized load smashed into another car before flying through the air and off the highway. Two cars appear to have been hit, but only one driver stopped to assess the damage. Zach pulled over and stayed with a woman whose car had been hit by the tire and got her email address so he could send her his footage. The front bumper of her SUV was pretty messed up, but luckily she was okay. Mr. Mortensen had parked his Model 3 at a store in Denmark. As he was walking back to his car, he passed a woman who just finished loading her vehicle. At first, it looked like she was about to abandon her cart, but then she grabbed it as Mortensen started loading his own groceries into his car. In the end, she just left the cart loose and it started rolling directly for the Tesla. Mr. Mortensen heard the loud impact and saw the shopping cart leaning against his car. The woman who'd enabled the cart demon refused to take responsibility. So Mr. Mortensen parked her cart in the cart corral for her. He then promptly filed an insurance claim with his own provider and he's hoping they go after her for damaging his car. Check it out, this Honda is driving right behind a Tesla. Uh oh, this looks like a recipe for a Honda bump. At the next traffic light, a police motorcycle with emergency lights active turned through a red light, forcing traffic to an abrupt stop. Luckily, this Tesla driver avoided a Honda bump by mere inches. Now that was a close one. Mr. Clean was driving at 4 a.m., running late to catch an early morning flight. He was getting on an on-ramp when a semi-truck moving rather slowly had created a line of cars behind it. Mr. Clean changed lanes to pass the truck, but as he did, his wife yelled, his trailer fell off. The truck slowed down and pulled over to the shoulder, and it looks like his trailer started to slide to the shoulder as well. Nate was driving his Model 3 in Tuxedo, North Carolina. He was surprised to see traffic in front of him leaving the left lane to avoid an object up ahead. Nate couldn't make out what the object was as he approached it, and since there was a car next to him in the right lane, he had to weigh his options. Nate noted that an Audi was a safe distance behind him, so he steered left almost to the rumble strips. As he drove by it, he identified the object as a large dark armchair. The Audi behind him missed it too, but the Hyundai driver that had been tailgating the Audi had no chance to see it coming. The video shows them slam into the chair with the passenger side of their grill. Wolf was pulling up to a red light in San Jose, California when a bright shooting star flew across the sky. Wolf told us he wished you'd all subscribe to our other channel, Wham Bam Dash Cam. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers. Samuel was sitting in stop and go traffic in Clinton, Mississippi when he heard a crash in the adjacent lane. Is that an Acura? I guess this is some kind of premium Honda bump. Cameron was traveling south on I-75 on his way to a dentist appointment when traffic in the left lane came to a sudden stop. A Lincoln sedan was unable to stop in time and hit a Hyundai SUV, causing a three-car pileup. The drivers behind the Lincoln were able to swerve onto the shoulder to avoid adding their own vehicles to the pileup. Bill was driving his Model Y in Belton, Texas when he noticed a pickup truck coming up behind him. Bill told us there had been no previous interaction between him and the pickup driver that he's aware of. He even checked several minutes back through his Tesla cam footage. The pickup truck sped up and passed Bill on the right before cutting off the car driving in front of him. 
Bill thought this was the end of it, but when he pulled up to an intersection ahead, he noticed the truck stopped at a green light, although he didn't yet realize it was the same truck. The driver of the pickup got out and gestured to the driver in front of Bill to go around him. Apparently, he had something to say to Bill. As Bill pulled up, the guy started screaming and pointing at his chest. When Bill passed him, he struck the Tesla with his hands. It's not often we see people trying to fight cars. Bill had no idea what he was doing, but he pulled over in a safe place and called 911. When the police arrived, they tried to read the license plate of the truck, but they couldn't read it or find a match using the make and model, so in the end, there wasn't much they could do. Bill's theory is that this guy must have just really hated Teslas. Amanda and her boyfriend were driving home from work in Bellevue, Washington when they saw a white Tesla Model Y run a red light and get T-boned by an Audi. Amanda gave her number to the Audi driver and she called the Bellevue Police Department after getting home and told them she was a witness to the accident. Gary was heading westbound on Highway 401 when the driver in front of him swerved to avoid hitting the car in front of them. Instead, they ended up hitting the wall. What do you think of this move? Was this the safest thing to do? Leave a comment and tell us what you think. This section of road has a long history of congestion, so it was recently reconfigured to have a longer turn lane so people turning won't be blocking other traffic. Unfortunately, Ian says too many people don't know where to look when merging. Repairing the damage will cost 5,000 US dollars. Arguing against Ian's Tesla cam footage was very difficult, so the other driver's insurance provider accepted responsibility. Ian says he's been watching Wham Bam Tesla cam for years, and our channel is the reason he bought a Tesla. Drew changed lanes to give a stopped motorist some room and hit a piece of scrap metal in the road, immediately flattening two tires. Drew pulled over and called his wife, and she was able to come to the rescue by bringing him a set of winter tires so he could get back on the road. Drew hasn't inspected the rims for damage yet. He'll take on that problem when it's time to put the summer tires back on. Max was driving his Model 3 when he noticed a pickup driver waiting at a yield sign. Max says the driver waited for him to get close before pulling out onto the road, rolling coal when he did. Max thinks the truck driver expected him to road rage, but he just turned on his air recirculation and laughed it off while considering how much that display of manhood must have cost him in fuel. While Todd was driving home from the airport with his wife on I-225, they approached some slower traffic and merged over to pass. Todd saw that the passing lane was open, so he'd started passing the two slower cars when a fast-moving Kia caught up to them. As Todd was passing the second of the slower cars, the impatient Kia driver decided to pass Todd on the shoulder. Unfortunately, she returned to the road too early and sideswiped the Tesla. Todd's wife called 911, but since there were no injuries, they were told to file a report online. They exchanged information with the other driver, who had two kids riding with her in car seats. When Todd said to her, you must have been in quite a hurry, she replied, just trying to get my kids home. Todd didn't say it out loud, but he thought to himself, how about prioritizing getting them home alive next time? The total repair cost came to 4,100 US dollars. Cake pulled up to a traffic light just as it turned green. He quickly pulled away, but another driver ran his red light and Cake saw him just a little too late. The police asked Cake to send them an email with his footage and he's waiting to receive a copy of their report before making an insurance claim. Caesar was heading home with the full self-driving beta engaged when a Honda Civic ran a red light. Autopilot reacted just in time, stopping inches from a collision. Caesar contacted the police, but apparently the red light camera located there wasn't working that night. This Model 3 owner was driving along with autopilot engaged when a car hit a traffic cone that was sitting in the middle of the road. The submitter is planning on filing a claim against the California Department of Transportation for leaving a cone in the middle of the road. A friend told me once that cones are the future. I'm not convinced, but they do have a point.